Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I am Terra Cactus, and this is Fallout 4. Be careful. If the shielding on the reactor floor isn't perfect, it can be hazardous to your health. Excuse me. So, you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? She's one of my people. A friend. I promised to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. But these are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now. Before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. Curie? I should see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. So this shouldn't take long. Yes. I there. should see this through. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of <clears throat> poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Listen, G519 went through a lot. She was good. Solid. I hope... I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't... Make sure all of this was worth it. With Curie's scientific skills, there's a real chance. She'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah. Here's hoping. Listen, I know we don't exactly know each other, but talk to Deacon. I think you'd make a decent addition to the railroad. Hey. May I be of assistance? Excuse me. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more Curie. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel better. Come, I, I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. Nice. Well, Curie's body has been transferred. 
Now that's done, we can continue on with the main quest. You've been through so much. I hope you find some peace one day. Now we're off to go talk to Virgil once more. No, the body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Co Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh God, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry, they just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years, came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I've got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can if you make it in there. You find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever. Right. Off we go. Protect we and go serve. Talk to the Brotherhood of Steel. Now you may be wondering why, why don't I give it to other people? Well, let's go down the list real quick. What should I do with it? Hmm. Well, if I give it to the Minutemen, they're really weak and it's really hard to get through the Institute with them. If I give it to the Brotherhood, I get a special little present. If I give it to the Railroad, I kind of get an in-between mixture. It's not good, but it's 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 not great, but it's not terrible either. I'd much rather give it to the Brotherhood and have my guarantee chance. Sister. 
Not that despair, and sister. I love the thing that comes with it. It's quite wonderful. By now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. Oh my god. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to the mo the tool code. That, that, the only that's I have a way to infiltrate. So it appears I'm pleased that you've chosen to build the device with the Brotherhood. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I think. I think they're the ones that kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport and get to work on your project right away. Okay. Time to go to Proctor Ingram and get all this needs out of the way. Looks dead. Put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? No. Yeah, I feel like we can jump off and do it that way. No. Ready, ma'am? Oh, my list of maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer. Elder Maxson said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. Oh, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. Well, you definitely know your stuff. Damn right I do. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but... I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. Wow. I'm glad you could make sense. I haven't made sense of all of it yet, but I will by the time you get the first part built. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Let me just clear some stuff out of the way here. out of the way, like this, like this, and I'll get this mist built. Okay, hold on. 
What happened to my mods? Oh, is it because... I think I may know. I think I know. It's because I haven't... I'm not... It's not a settlement. That's why. Let's go over to uh, this thing over here real quick. I'm a scat man, skip it up, 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 don't you think? Just a wee bit scary. Okay, now that we're working in daylight. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Any luck building the platform yet? Yes, I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Looks good, Ingram. I'll get to work right away. Hmm. I wish I had your confidence. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be... I'd wish you good luck. I'd gladly lay down my life. See, man, Well, let's see if I can't find some of this shit at, uh, Diamond City.
Military grade circuit board shouldn't be too hard to find along with a biometric scanner. I want to be left alone. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the time we have we have for this episode of Fallout 4. I'll see you in the next one where we finish out the story and are able to do everything we can. Ta-ta!